income inequality and poverty in New Zealand. That we don't tax this money at all. Now, to help us figure out what this all means, I spoke to inequality researcher Max Rashbrook. He crunched these numbers, and I asked him what his first thoughts were when he saw these numbers. To me, it just really showed me that, that we're not the egalitarian country that we think we are. You know, there are these really massive disparities and, you know, and there are kids growing up in these families at either end of the spectrum who are obviously going to have completely different opportunities. And you think, well, you know, all those, those ideas that, that I like to cling on to, that people like to cling on to about this being an egalitarian country, it, it just doesn't seem like that anymore. You know, we're often told that economic growth is good for all of us here in New Zealand. Is that true? The idea that economic growth benefits everyone, I guess, is a variant on that sort of trickle-down theory. You know, if the wealthy get wealthier, that'll trickle down to everyone else. And what we've seen is that that doesn't really happen. I mean, if you look at incomes in the last, you know, sort of 30, 40 years, incomes have doubled for the richest New Zealanders, but they've barely increased for the poorest New Zealanders. In fact, after housing costs, the poorest New Zealanders have less disposable income now than they did in the 1980s. So you can't just rely on economic growth to get us out of these problems, I think. Okay, so if not economic growth, what sort of policies do work to reduce inequality? What can we do about it? Well, look, I mean, I think you'd have to do something in housing. Housing is a huge component of people's wealth, so solving the housing crisis would go a long way to addressing these inequalities. Um, I'd like to see some encouragement for savings for poorer families, um, something like a kid's Kiwi saver to help boost the savings of poorer kids who would otherwise not you know, have an asset base building up behind them. Um, I'd like to see wealth shared more evenly within companies, so a lot more programs that create share ownership uh, for employees and I also think you could fund uh, a lot of these initiatives through you know, a wealth tax, just a, a small sort of 1% levy on the largest fortunes, maybe those over $2 million or over $4 million. I think if you put those things together you'd be starting to make a real dent in the levels of inequality that we see. Well, Max Rashbrook, thanks so much for your time. Thanks very much for having me.